Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Remy's Apprentice. Today we will be recreating several different versions of the spiced caramel apple cocktail that can be found at Beach Club Resort located right behind Epcot's World Showcase. If the sweets won't get you this fall season, this drink sure will. Moonshine, baby. Woo! Now this will be an experiment, so let's start with our liquors of choice. We have Jack Daniels, Old Smoky Blue Flame 128 Proof Moonshine, Sailor Jerry's, Fireball, and for the sophisticated, Maker's Mark. Now, we aren't some fly-by-night channel that makes anything easy, so excluding our Fireball, let's infuse our alcohol with one stick of cinnamon, two cloves per eight ounces of liquid regret. Next, we went to seal and place in a dark space for 48 hours. And like I said, nothing easy. So let's make our own cider by slicing six Honeycrisp apples and juicing. Next, we want to add cider to a pot and bring to a simmer while we split, scrape, and mix vanilla bean in our cider. Then we want to slice half of a lemon, squeezing the juice before we add it to a pot. Next, we want to add three cloves, one cinnamon stick, one tablespoon whole allspice, and a half cup brown sugar to our pot before stirring, covering, and allowing to simmer on low for two hours. When two hours are complete, add two cups of neutral water to your pot to help balance the acidity of your cider. Then strain through a cheesecloth and place in refrigerator to cool. Now we are no strangers to syrup, so our caramel sauce is going to be super simple. Add one fourth cup of water to a pan bringing to a steam before adding in one cup granulated sugar and simmering on medium high heat until you begin to see a golden color. Then add six tablespoons unsalted butter until you see what looks like brown type of foam. Remove pan from heat, adding one teaspoon of vanilla, one pinch of salt, a half cup of cream, and placing in a container, placing in the refrigerator, to keep cool. Keep in mind that this sauce can also be used for ice cream and coffee. Let's go ahead and dress these drinks up by smoking our glasses with a stick of cinnamon before adding two ounces cider, half ounce squeezed cranberry juice, no concentrate, one teaspoon caramel, liquor, and garnish with star anise. Okay, so we got the original, well, Fireball was the original one. That was from Cape May, that's what they used. And then we hit it with a 128 proof, 64% uh, alcohol, Old Smoky Moonshine, Maker's Mark, Jack Daniels, and then Sailor Jerry rum, but I did this hot, so it's like a tea. Whoa. Wow, that is, uh, it's different. Next was the Jack Daniels, which actually, when I tasted it earlier, this one was my favorite one. I'm not biased. Mm. I don't know, something about that, it's pretty smooth. The Pumpkin King! Jack, Maker's Mark. Ooh, that's completely different. Completely different uh, flavor profile than the Jack Daniels. One of the things that I like about these is because, like, so when I had it, when I had this drink at the Beach Club, you could totally tell that they used like an apple liqueur in the drink with like a cranberry liqueur. And so we actually used cranberry juice and one and a half ounces homemade apple cider. I mean, we used like a cheesecloth with a sieve, but I like the remnants of the allspice clove and everything that's in there, it's gonna bring out that flavor a lot more, make it really taste like a, uh, a holiday type style drink. And then the, the notes that you're picking up with your smell from the anise, however you pronounce that, that's that's adding a little something extra. Now this one right here, I could definitely see myself drinking this by like a fire on like a really, really cold night, or if I'm just trying to get completely hammered and trashed. <laughs> Yeah, here, yep, your turn. And then the original, which was the Fireball, which is actually kind of funny. We got the right color with this that we did at the uh, Beach Club. Mm. And that's spot on what it tasted like the other night, except for it does feel a little bit more full bodied, if that's what you want to call it, full bodied. That tastes like an apple cider. I mean, even though we infused our own, the Fireball is still, first of all, it was the cheapest option out of all of it. Second of all, it's more sweet. If I had to break it down, if I was drinking this drink, I was like sitting in the living room, Halloween night, watching a scary movie, it's probably going to be the Maker's Mark. If I was out with, uh, with the buddies by like a bonfire, moonshine, baby. Woo! All right. Yeah, tastes good. Creative Keel has been designing and producing handcrafted gifts and apparel for years. From beanies to leggings and custom orders, they got you covered. They even started a new Mickey line. Holidays are right around the corner, so hurry quick. See link in the description below to put in your order today.